Hello, it's Craig again. Today I'm going to show you my latest trash pick find, which I picked up this morning. This uh, Hoover commercial vacuum, like the Hoover convertible. I'll go up and down the cleaner to show you the details of it. Right there and right there. Yeah, I found this in a pile of trash on the side of the road. The Hoover bag with the Hoover emblem sticking out of the top. And I, I pulled it right out of the pile, and I was surprised to see it. It's a little scuffed up, but yeah, it's a commercial vacuum. And when I got it home, the cleaner ran, but uh, the cleaner, when you shut it off, it didn't sound like a normal like Hoover convertible. Like you could hear the motor like whir down. It just seems like the motor was like stopping too fast when you shut the cleaner off. So I took the bottom cover off, and uh, I took the bottom cover off, and then I found a, a wire that was right there on the fan shaft where the belt connects. And I took that yeah, garbage wire off, and then I started the cleaner, and now it works fine. And it's a model. Let's see here. It's a model U7, U7047. Yeah, it's a nice shape. It needs a new belt. I'll wait for this car to move here. Yeah, it needs a new belt, and this tube is in nice shape. Usually they're all tore up, and uh, it came with no bag. The zipper works fine, but the bag is a little, like, uh, tattered on top here. And the, net, the height adjustment, I just took some WD-40 and lubed that. And now it's working good. It, it was sticking before. And it's got this heavy cord with this uh, three prong plug. And it's pretty heavy. I mean, it's hard to like wrap around the cleaner. And the bad thing is that it's tore, the cord is torn. There's like this electrical tape here. I'll take the cord apart and find out what's going on in there. Considering the heaviness of the cord, it probably couldn't be too much of a tear. So I'll take that apart. And what's kind of neat is these com the commercial Hoover. Instead of having the power switch on the top of the handle like most of the Hoovers do, it has the power switch right here. So yeah, I'll plug it in and I'll give a demonstration of the motor running. Yeah, wait for this car. Cars on planes today. Drives me nuts. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it runs good. I'll tune her up a little bit, put a new belt on it, but here's a here's a demonstration now. The air coming out here where the bag connects, it's good. There's no clogs in it. But the handle's a little bit loose. I gotta tighten up this bolt down here. But other than that, it runs good. I'll just fix her up and clean her up a little bit and you know, sell her on eBay. I sold like maybe like three or four convertibles so far on eBay. Yeah, but I couldn't believe it. Yeah, it's nice. Hoover commercial vacuum, like the convertible. Can't go wrong. Yeah. There was a reek of boss sitting there. I should have left it. it. Smelled, but I think I washed a bag on that. It's just like the old F&G Eureka. But, yeah, this commercial vacuum. It's kind of rare. <laughs> Runs good. And that concludes this video. Goodbye all and have a good weekend.